interesting video that you've got there, actually. Mm. And I know there are uh, a couple of stories about your comfort levels. Mm. <laughs> what went on? It was shot in Almeria. It was an overnight shoot, and we had to wear, like, bungees. The harnesses were out the air, and it's, like, really painful. Yeah. And you had a lot of chafing going on and <laughs> stuff like that. But it was worth it in the end, as yeah. you can see. Um, but it's really exciting. It's like it was also on cranes, and if someone who was heavier than myself and Bernie moved, you like swaying that way, or you're going that way. But it's very exciting. Very though, daring to do that. Mm. It's a lot of fun. I've always quite fancied that whole flying thing for panto or something. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that's just a little bit of a dream I've got. Now, I mentioned uh, earlier that you played for the Pope in the intro. Yeah. Did, did he dig it? Did he dig it? Because <laughs> he's getting a bit pop. He had Bono last week, didn't he, round it? Yes. He's had quite a few artists perform for him. Every year, once a year, he has like a live performance concert thing and it raises money for charity and he invites one, well, a couple artists over to perform for this gig and we were, he had heard I Am Blessed and loved that and invited us over to perform, so that was really nice. He's Gosh. very hip. Yeah, isn't he? Yeah. He's getting there and he's got uh, Bono's glasses now as well. <laughs> um, so what would you say was the greatest moment of your career so far? Um, I think you could actually pick one greatest moment because we also met Whitney Houston, we met Al Green and he complimented us on singing his song Let's Stay Together. So. Fabulous song, that. Yeah. I think there's loads of great highs and I think there's also more to come. Oh yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Al Green. I, I think I'd be chuffed to bits if I had that opportunity. Yeah, we definitely were. Well, he'd never ask me though, would he? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice though. Now, the last time we saw you, Kelly was here as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how does it feel now it's just the two of you in the band? Um, I think when it comes to live performances, you'll notice the difference. I mean, it's just like when Louise left, everyone was like, oh, Louise is supposed to be there, oh, she's supposed to be there, but eventually you got used to it. But um, at the moment, we've just been doing, like, radios and a few TVs, so we haven't sort of missed her as yet, but I'm sure we will when we start doing our live stuff. What, what will that mean to you when you do the live stuff? Will there be, you know, are you two going to have to work hard, or are you going to have to bring in <laughs> a, a troop of dancers in? Um, we are bringing um, some dancers over to... to to like fill the stage as it were because mm. now we're two members down it's like uh, we do need to fill that stage so we've got a, a team of dancers it's going to be kind of like the Janet feel they'll always be there whenever we're performing which is quite nice yeah. isn't it so what really happened with Kelly then I think she she well I don't think I know she wanted to leave uh, we made the great hits because she wanted to leave she had said it a few times you don't make a great hits just out of the blue somebody says it and you think okay we'll do it, it takes a long time to actually get to that stage to say OK, you've said it a number of times, let's make the greatest hits. Kind of cut the third album short, so I think we only released one single off that album, and then, bang, here came the greatest hits. Um, at the end, we had a number one single, then she wanted to stay. But I don't think it was... You know, we, we did ask her to leave, and I don't think it was... Wasn't, it was because she said she wanted to stay because we had a number one. It was more... She had been in and out of the group, for the last two albums and it's like we'll probably get down to the, this album where we're at now mm. and halfway through that she'll say she want to go out again and then we'd have to cut another album short so I think for the survival of Eternal we had to make a decision it's not an easy See, one. Yeah, it's a business decision isn't it which of course when it's reported in the media suddenly becomes something else yeah. mm. which is because you have to watch what you say all the time yeah, yeah. but you're very uh, diplomatic <laughs> <laughs> this is years of practice though I guess no I think that's just the way we are we're not uh, I think if we like something, we'll say we like it. If we don't, we don't. Um, I don't know if that's being diplomatic. That's just being honest. Yeah, you see, this is a fine old line, isn't it? I've always said that I'm blunt. I'm told I'm blunt, but I'd rather be blunt than a liar. Yeah. yeah. It's awful. <laughs> but, but, of course, well, Louise didn't stick along. Did... Sorry. Is that all? We're just chatting. I'm so sorry. But Louise didn't stick around for long. So are you girls a little bit feisty? We get on with Lou. I don't think we didn't stick around because of us. She gets... We, I mean, she calls us, we talk about her album. Yep, coming out hopefully next year. <laughs> and what she's up to and stuff. So that's... Uh, well, you don't have a problem with Lou. See, it's a hard life as well. You're on the road. <coughs> You're all stuffed together all the time. At some point, you need to go and have a break. Yeah. But girls, I think girls... I think bands... Any band. ...fight anyway. There's yeah. going to be arguments here, disagreements there, but you get over it. Mm. Or you make decisions to move on and go your separate ways. I think that's just business really it's a normal job working relationship and yeah business and progress yeah so yeah and uh, you're into new age therapies aren't you Vernie I'm relaxing. into yoga I really want to get into it um, one of our uh, our video director Trudy she's got a yoga teacher that teaches uh, what who taught Madonna's uh, yoga, yoga teacher. teacher so 
Yeah, I'm getting into that. Oh, nice way of relaxing. Very. But watch your knees. What's my advice? <laughs> <laughs> well, on the strength of that, thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you for having Pleasure me. to see you. Good luck with the single, which is out on October the 18th. Yeah. Eternal, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. Well, after the break, Uri Geller will be here and we'll be catching up with Mr Richard Bacon. You're watching The Big Breakfast.